Today, we're installing this steering wheel. back guys today as you saw we're gonna go ahead and put that on I've had it for a little while now but this hub right here took forever to come in it was like two months of wait time one or two months something like that so I've had the steering wheel for a while the quick release actually came in uh, about a week after the steering wheel did so I've had that cinder for a long time so I'm pretty anxious to go ahead and put it onto the car I'm gonna go ahead and get to it let me show you guys what I do have right here uh, steering wheel I already put the quick release on because like I said had it for a while I couldn't wait this is from likewise um, this was their like second edition slasher edition drop or something like that they only made 220 and I guess I have number 48 neochrome that's what I call it that's the horn should be functional. This is suede material, very nice, zebra print. Works bell, quick release, wrap fix, oh, here it is. I don't have that piece right there. I only have the hub, which is that. Then I've got the quick release, which is on there. And of course the wheel. Everything is in Japanese. So I have all these cables here that I don't really understand what they are. Um, I believe, so this has to be ground because it's black. This is for the horn, if I'm not mistaken. This, I don't know what it is. This, I don't know what it is. These are the airbag resistors. And then here's the hub itself. And then, um, like look, that's the diagram. So this is all pretty much useless. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out how those cables go because I don't understand any of this. Let's go ahead and get to it. I'm gonna kind of show you guys how it goes. Remove the airbag, that's how we're going to start. You have to be really careful here. Uh, of course, you do want to unplug the battery, which I did. Oh, God, this screwdriver is too thick. This is not going to work. A few moments later. There we go. Airbag is out. We have to get the steering wheel out. There is a 17. And now that I got it, we're going to undo the nut all the way and slowly but surely. All right, that was easy. Now, as far as wow, I don't know what to do about the horn. I might have to watch a couple YouTube videos. Uh, so, you want it. Let me figure out the horn situation because I do want my horn to work. All right, guys, so I cannot figure out the horn for the life of me, so I'm just going to not. If anybody can help me with that, please comment below. I'll figure that out later. I can always take this off. I did go ahead and plug in the resistors, as you see. There it is. All right, so now I install the quick release, which has all these things for the horn. And I'm gonna tighten that, but I just wanna see what it looks like. <laughs>
so much easier to get in now. Oh yeah. Whew. Love it. Turn off traction control and off for a drive we go. Hopefully it works. Let's see. Hopefully nothing snaps off. Feels good. Definitely a lot closer to me. It's all right. So. I can just take it off whenever I want to. I put it back on. It's real cool. <laughs> the horn don't work, but the steering works. That's all that matters. Let me catch y'all at home. All right, so the steering wheel came out amazing. As you can see, I mean, I love it a lot. Uh, it's a lot closer to me, but I mean, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I definitely recommend. I'll try to have everything linked down there if I can. If you can figure out how to solve this horn situation, because I can't get it to work, let me know. Uh, definitely let me know because I want to fix that. But in the meantime, I do appreciate y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little video that I put together for you. It's my first time using the GoPro uh, POV style for like an install. So let me know if you like it. Um, do consider subscribing. That way you can catch all of my videos coming up. I have a lot of good stuff planned and if all works out, It'll be very good for the channel. So I hope you stay tuned. Hope to catch y'all next time. Peace out.